Hey, what's up, everybody? So I finally got a second to piece together an install video for you. This is that school bus we did in New York. Uh, this was back in October or sometime. Uh, I'm going to show you the roof here real quick. He had, had a nice rack build. He actually had this built for 16 200-watt panels. So it's a nice stout rack. It's not going anywhere. It gives him 3,200 watts, but if they ever come that he wanted to swap those out, he could buy like 650 watt panels and just turn them sideways and float them across this rack. So it gives him options in the future if he did want to up upgrade. But 3,200 watts is a decent amount. Go inside here. He's done a heck of a job insulating this thing. I forget how much money he told me he spent on insulation, but I wish my fifth wheel was insulated like this because it would heat so much easier than... No. but they just don't build them out of the way and he doesn't have slides that he's got to worry about either so that's why they can't really insulate a normal rv like that but but he's got it insulated good and then here in the back he's built uh, a nice wall for all the equipment it looks like a ton of space and i honestly thought it was a ton of space but as you'll see once we get going here that it really wasn't as much space as we thought getting all the equipment carried in here it's going to be a dual inverter setup and an auto former solar controller all the standard stuff so this year's after about like a day or so of trying to plan out things because he's got four batteries there but he wanted to add two more so i had to kind of keep that in mind as i was laying everything out and like i said i mean it looked like a big wall but once we started mounting stuff and having to leave space for the ceiling and the walls it really wasn't as much space as what i thought so i got everything mounted here i left all the covers off everything because i had the intentions of you guys being able to see the wiring a little better but as i was putting this together i noticed the lighting so bad that you still can't really see any of the wiring so it was somewhat of a waste but i did leave the covers off and the intentions of that so the LED lighting the customer put in himself like halfway between the me being right in the middle of the wiring. I was supposed to have him do it before I did the wiring, but I forgot to have him come out and do it. So then he's got four Battleborn batteries. That was he actually bought like a year ago when they had a sale. I wired them together in groups of two. So the back two are together and the front two. And then he's actually going to buy two more as his plan and have six total. That's why there's three cutoff switches, one of which is off because I ran all the wiring and put the cutoff switch in for him because it'd be a nightmare to do all that afterwards. So one of them's technically not used right now. And then they all come together to the Link's power in, go through the Link shunt. And then we got two Link's distributors because in fact there's so many 12 volt connections that it took two distributors to cover them all. Link's shunt obviously houses the catastrophic fuse. So there's a 500 amp fuse in there. And we got two inverters. Those are wired together in split phase. That's the only way I'm ever going to do two inverters. Uh, then we got the solar controllers here. I did two strings of five and a string of six. So I got two 85 amp solar controllers and then I got a 100 amp solar controller. Then we got uh, the Orion XS. That's the new 50 amp DC to DC charger, which is nice and small. It's been nice to install i haven't seen a lot of stats on it yet but it seems like it works pretty well and we got the servo in the screen he's going to build himself like a, a wall here with a couple doors and then there'll be fixed walls on the end so he's going to just mount the screen in that fixed wall at the point he gets all that built and we got the solar disconnect here in a box that's black which i think looks pretty nice at the wires uh, run up to the roof i put a combiner box which you'll see at the end of the video here but that's what those wires run up to is the combiner box that i put up there uh, we ran some of his other wiring, like the 120 volt wiring for him. Uh, he helped him with it because he knew where everything went. And then the only actual 120 volt thing I could plug into is this outlet here. I put that in just so I could run something. So I got an electric heat running there. That's what the almost 900 watt load is. But as you can see, it's balanced between both legs because of the auto former. So it's 400 watts ish, 450 on each leg. He like said I left the covers off here thinking you guys would be able to see a little bit of my wiring and I mean you can kind of see it but obviously it's pretty dark and more so the auto former I mean the inverter wiring is pretty straightforward auto former is a little bit different because it's both legs from the inverter go there and then the auto former creates its own neutral back out to the breaker panel box. Uh, this first little breaker box here, that's where short power actually comes in, and I split the neutral and ground for the inverters. Uh, like I said, I made a little video on the plug, but the plug's right down there out of sight. And then the second box here is actually for his 220-volt mini split that he's going to be putting in. So he doesn't actually have it put in yet, but... Uh, that box is all wired and hot. The breaker's just off. So that's what this gray line is. It's coiled up here. He's going to have a rack built outside and have the units mounted up top there. Um, so whatever, at least he'll have the power available when he gets that done. 
this isn't the perfect situation in a perfect world. I would have had them angle this wall rather than making it straight. I just didn't really know at the time. But you can still get in there and easily reset the breakers if one trips. And then the 12 volt panel is much more accessible out here, at least until you add those two batteries. So it's not that that wall couldn't be redone and angled, but it's screwed and glued and it's really in place. So here we go with everything, all the covers back on, everything cleaned up is as good as can be given the amount of wires there is again that big old loop in the wire that's sitting on the batteries there is just because cable link needs to be the same for the inverters so just kind of is what it is turn the blue lights back on here so uh, something a little different from some of the other installs is the black box like i've been painting them blue to match the victron system a lot but I didn't have any blue paint on this one, and I actually really like the black. I think it turned out really nice. So here's a quick shot of the roof being done in that combiner box I was talking about there. All right, that's it for this one, guys. Here's a couple shots of some of the awesome northern lights we caught in Michigan uh, this fall. We've left Michigan. We're down in Florida now. We'll be headed out to Arizona soon, and we should be out there at the quartzite. So, so hopefully see you guys on the road. Thanks, everybody.